Hello world! It's been over a decade since I probably put up a review. Um, so kind of want to just maybe like fill you guys in a little bit what's going on um, the last decade or so. Um, so I've been busy of course um, and I kind of wanted to go, I was doing cosmetics before, I kind of wanted to go into fragrance which is, is one of my passions of mine um, and kind of talking about it. A lot of people have been talk, telling me that I need to do it again. Um, so here we go. Um, and I'll just kind of recap a little bit of my fragr fragrance history um, and kind of know where I come from. So 16 years old, um, I was working in fragrances, uh, working at Macy's department store. Uh, worked there for a few years, was great. This was back in 2007. And a group of us, three of out of the 20 kids, decided to go to a perfumery. Made my own perfume. Um, that was my first perfume I ever made. It was all right. Uh, made a citrus, a little musky. I actually made two there because the first one just came out like, ugh. And I don't know if anyone out there's actually made perfume, but what goes into it and what you think you like is totally different than what you actually like. So leave it to the experts because it's a whole nother world. Um, and we can get into that a little later. Um, so, uh, flashback to 2010 or so when I was doing the other reviews, um, I ended up working in fragrances at Nordstrom's back in the day. Um, did very well then, long story short, worked there for a while, then got out of it, did some other things with my career, and now I am focusing on school and back in the fragrance world. So kind of wanted to go a little bit in depth on a couple of fragrances and we're, the first couple of videos I'm going to do weekly are going to be about saffron and fragrance around saffron um, just because it's one of those fragrances that I like a lot and one of those ingredients that I treasure um, and I have quite a few saffron fragrances. One from Crystal Saffron by Mette Premier. My favorite one which you cannot get in the U.S. is called Raidan. This one is um, called Symphony. Uh, this one's from, in, from Oman. Another one of saffrons I like is Black Saffron from Byredo. I'm going to review that one as well. And there's about four other fragrances I have um, with saffron, not just what's here. I have about 150 or so fragrances in the collection. Actually, it's like 172 when I was the last time I counted. Um, so, first up, Crystal Saffron by Mateo Pirmier. This one's a very interesting one, um, especially when I first smelled it. Um, and especially when you first smell it, if you have the chance to smell it um, at a boutique um, or a place that sells it. First off, it's very light. Uh, it's light. You know, it's definitely, I'm going to say right off the bat, it's going to be a male ma uh, masculine fragrance. It's very light, which you're like, okay, well, if it's light, why would you say it's masculine? Because, just wait, this just turned to a leather. It's going to switch in about five, ten minutes. Five minutes later. <clears throat> so that top note, is, it's a lot lighter at first. So it's mixed with um, musk. The musk is very clean and fresh. If anyone doesn't know this about musk, musk right now on the market is all synthetic. So it's not actually from a deer because you can't do that anymore, especially a product coming from France. If, um, so it's very clean and crisp. A little bit and I could see why they had that word crystal in there because it's like a crystal it's very clean and it's kind of vibrant right but wait because the saffron is nice it's still throughout but then the base note hits and that's where it's like oof it's like a, so it's an incense it's very leathery it's an incense from like Somalia from what I've read online but again it's very heavy so that's where it's gonna have that more masculine masculinity which is your base note which is gonna carry and be the carry through and be there pretty much all day. It does last long. I will admit that. It has a long lasting scent. Um, uh, it's nice. I like it personally. It's a little heavy for me. And I feel like the name Crystal Saffron is a little, uh, you kind of, again, you kind of feel like it's going to be more crystal like. Um, but again, it's not as crystal light. It's more of a heavier crystal. So, like a darker crystal, like this amber little vase that I have here um, in the corner if you could see that um, so it's a little heavier um, so definitely um, that's my take on Mate Premier's Crystal Saffron subscribe and to find out more about my saffron kind of fetish um, for next week we'll be going over L'Occitane Rose Saffron um, one of my other saffrons in the collection this one I will say it's a lot lighter um, 
and more of a crystal effect.